Hi everyone, this is ACU Moot and for today's videos, we're working on the Mercedes E250 W212. There is some ABS and ESB warning lights on the dashboard and due to the driving experience, the customer complains that sometimes the steering is quite stiff and the instrument panel said that the run flat indicator is inoperative. With that being said, let's diagnose this car together. So I've scanned the entire car for four coats and the entire car has many four coats stored and one of them is stored in the electronic stability program and 30 slash 4. So the four coat I got is related to the L6 slash 3 which is the wheel speed sensor at rear left. So we've done various things in order to fix it such as removing, cleaning, changing the reluctant ring and even swapping it with the wheel speed sensor at rear right but the problem still maintain at the rear left wheel to get to the bottom of these problems we have to analyze some live data we're gonna have it on the forklift ramp as you can see the sensor are still sending out the signal but why there is four codes on our scanners at this point I think many of you would go ahead and replace the sensor but we'll give you an example of what a faulty sensor will give us as you can see this is the data in which the malfunctioning sensor will be given us comparing to what we have I'm pretty sure that our sensor is not having any problems in this case is our previous customer who has the same issues but his sensors are broken, resulting the output value are significantly higher than others. But as we test it on the road, we notice something that is quite unfamiliar. Pay attention to the wheel speed and rear axle. As we press the gas pedal, the deviation between the two is increased. And the more we accelerate, the larger the difference it is. After eliminating all possible causes like the faulty sensor, broken reluctant ring, or short circuit in a wire, it all comes down to the wheel itself. Having checked the maintenance history, we found that the rear left tires has been replaced to a new one and a customer said that the problem started to appear after the replacement. The manufacturer spec on the tires at rear left is 225, 55 and R18. For your information, the 225 indicates normal section width of the tires in millimeters. 55 indicates its aspect ratios, a comparison of the tire section height with its section width. 55 indicates the height is 55% of its width. R indicates radio black constructions and 18 is the nominal diameters of the wheel rim, like 18 inches. And with that being said, I'm going to show you the spec of a stock wheel. It's 245, 40 and R18. So the rear right wheel is smaller than the rear left, resulting the fluctuations in speed between them. The ESB recognizes this problem and therefore triggers the warning lights on the dashboard. Now, we're going to replace it with the homologous one and take a test run to see whether our problem is disappeared. After replacing the wheel and clearing the four coats, is it essential to perform a test to see if the deviation is still there? As you can see, the speed in four wheels is evenly with each other. That is because the size of them is equally now.
So we're taking a road test and as you can see, there's no warning lights on the dashboard anymore and the car is back to normal. In conclusion, we're having a problem with the ESV system and it relates to our wheel size at rear left on the Mercedes E250 W212. After diagnosing and replacing the tire, we no longer have any DTC on our scanners and everything is back to where it should be. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we will help you as, as much as we can. Till then, we really hope you enjoyed today's videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.